around all NBA, and he made that this season. Mm -hmm. But it's fascinating to see where do people rank Jalen Brown coming off a very disappointing series and an absolutely putrid game seven. Recency bias is a strong thing in sports, so trying to see how strong our recency bias is around here. So I'm going to rank to you guys 15 players I Uh deem to be not top 10, and you're going to tell me, is Jalen Brown better than them? These are not top 10. These are not top 10 players to me. And the first guy on my list is LeBron James. Well, I believe LeBron's the top 10, but LeBron's better than Jalen. I don't want to do this debate with LeBron, but you'll be surprised with how many guys, given LeBron's injuries, are better. Debatable, but okay. Steph, Giannis, Jokic, Luka, Kawhi, KD, Jimmy, Tatum, Tatum Booker. Tatum's not better than LeBron. Yeah, there's Booker. And Joel Embiid. No. I wouldn't and take Shea, I would also take Shea. I would not. That's, that's your smoking crack. The last three out, times are be honest, out. LeBron's – this is not LeBron hate, but LeBron's the second best player in the Lakers, and I haven't even named Anthony Davis yet. Okay. Again, LeBron to me is a legend, but mm-hmm. right now in his age 38 season, we're seeing the soft landing. It's remarkable he's still a top 15 player, but in the regular season, the reason we all talk about the Lakers needing Kyrie is because LeBron is not the floor raiser any of those players I just named to you are. Yeah, he was before the foot injury. But now he's 39 next year by December, and he's going to be coming off a foot injury, Brandon. Mm-hmm. So he's not going to be what he was pre-foot injury, which is why I'm ready to appear. Well, I mean, we we probably didn't – a lot of people probably didn't expect he was going to be what he was in his age 38 season, and, and he Sorry. was at a, playing at a historic rate, breaking Kareem's record before the foot injury, and then we all know it took a complete dip. If you want to argue injuries will derail him, I can't argue that. But if you're going to argue just skill for skill, those last four guys you named are not better than LeBron James. Jason Tatum is a more no, skilled score. And right. yes, he's injuries right. and age are linked together here. So, you know, it's not like it's a surprise LeBron dealing with more injuries now that he's 39. That's how it usually yeah. goes. All right, let's just let's continue. Yeah. Good God. So LeBron is – we believe LeBron – me and J- Justin take LeBron over Jalen Brown. Shea Gildas Alexander. I'll take Shea. No. I'll take Jalen. Oh, wow. Really? Why? J- J- Shea, I, not a knock on his skill set, but he has to prove he's on a winning team as well. Uh, can he be a number one? We know Jalen's a number two. Can Shea be a number one on a winning team? That's yet to be seen. We can have faith in it. The OKC Thunder are young. I'm not saying he won't be, but he's not that yet. That's why I take Jalen right now. He's more proven of a player than, than Shea. Shea started his first two years in the league on playoff teams. and In those two playoff runs, he played pretty darn well. Remember that 2019 OKC team took the Warriors in six games in the first round. The mm-hmm. following year, in the bubble, he took James Harden to seven games in the first round. as the second best player in that OKC team, all alongside Chris Paul. That was three years ago before his breakout this year yeah. into a Yeah, but Jalen Brown's been in five Eastern Conference Finals, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, what do you say has a lot to do with circumstances, though? He's playing off of Jason wouldn't Tatum. You say, wouldn't, you say, wouldn't you say Shea Gilders' first two playoff appearances are off of circumstances as well? Sure. Okay, then. But that's, still, that's why I don't think it's like a that, – that, Again, yeah, that's fair. Here. You're going off of potential and what is going to happen. I'm going off of cur- currently right now. He was not on a uh, playoff team or a winning team. Okay. I think Shea. It. It's not a skill set thing. Again, it's not a skill set thing. I see the skill. He averaged, what, 30 points per game this year. I, it's not. It's simply off of yet to be seen. So he can easily move up. It's Jalen has proven he is that guy. Shea is yet to prove he is that guy on a winning team. That's it. That's all. Yeah, okay. I think I think Shea's proven a lot at this thing. I, I get what you're saying, Brandon, but. He's also, proven a lot from where he's come from. Yeah, I mean, his it, team it, needs to surround him with a, win, a winning group, and, and they're getting there. And I'm, yeah, I wouldn't yeah, be surprised they'll be making them more yeah, 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 yeah. Like in a couple of years, if he's you know on a playoff team competing in the in the Western Conference, we're going to have a completely different art, uh, conversation. I'll be on the other side, no problem. He's been less durable than Jalen, so we haven't seen as much of him too. So after Shea, Damian Lillard. I take Damian. Lillard. I agree with you guys. Paul George. PG, but just ahead of him. I literally have Paul George ranked one ahead of Jalen Brown. Hmm. Because I've seen Paul George be a number one on a team. Obviously, that was years ago. But And I think, honestly, if you were put 
If you were asked, who would you rather want as your number two, Paul George or Jalen Brown? I think both you guys would say Paul George. Yeah, you're right. I'll take PG. Absolutely. So. Trey Young. I'll take Jalen Brown. Oof. I'll, I'll take Trey Young. I think Trey Young, while I believe Trey Young's better as a two. JV. Uh, what happened? JV. Brunson? Take yeah, Brunson? No, I'm saying I'm saying Jalen Brown. Brown. You said Trey, but you meant Jalen Brown. Uh, Jalen Brown. No, I said I think Trey is better as a two. The same oh. way. Uh, Brown is is probably more suited as a two. Oh, as well. okay. I but, I I yet to be seen could be the case. I would disagree with it off of not being able to see it because of his defensive liabilities, and he also turns the ball over a lot, just like Jalen Brown. Do you want to know yeah. something though? But he is playing. Here's a myth I wanted to debunk. While Trey Young is a turnover prone guard for his career average is four point one, because he's a leader of a heliocentric offense. Yeah, he's the always in his hands. They are one of the most turnover free teams in the league. This year, they're the third least. They only had 12 a game. So, hey, look, if Trey Young's going to post five turnovers a game and we're posting the least amount of turnovers in the in Eastern Conference, I'll take it. So that's a fun thing not a lot of people talk about. Very important. Yeah, I got Trey. I'll take Jalen. What's your, why are you taking Jalen over Trey? What is it? The defense? Me? I'm taking Jalen over Trey. Me. <laughs> um, I'm taking Jalen over Trey. But yeah, defense. Uh, they both turn the ball over. And I'm just it, – Trey is not a good three-point shooter, even though he takes a lot of them. Um, I know he's a great playmaker. He is. But I, I just like Jalen's game more than Trey Young's right now. I would take Trey, but I do agree with you. I think Trey's three-point shooting. We saw it at College, Oklahoma. It wasn't consistent, and it was very unpredictable. Yeah. Next name up, Don. Uh, no, Zion. Uh, Zion Williamson. Zion, uh, healthy Zion. Okay, up? see, there's the there's the there's the precursor. There's the caveat, yeah. If you're taking me, if you're telling me Zion is healthy, Zion is arguably a top 13, 12 player because that's how dominant this mother effer is. But because he hasn't been, and he's missed more games than he's played, I have to take Jalen Brown. I'm sorry. I'm still thinking Zion and knowing what he's capable of. That's respectful because he is a top 10 player when he's healthy. Mm. Close to the top 10 player. He's yeah. not top 10. Ja Morant. I'll take Ja. Ja. Ja's been a number one. I'll also take Ja. Donovan Mitchell. I'll take Jalen. Uh, I'll take Spider. Mm. Close, but I'll take Jalen. What makes you lean Brown? Defensively, he's better. Um, shooting the ball wise, they're both inconsistent. Both aren't really great playmakers. I'll give Donovan the sure. edge in the playmaking department. Yes, you can. It's not like by a lot, but like again, these guys are similar players. If we're going to be honest, and defense is just you know much, is e easily better on Jalen Brown's case. So I'll take Jalen just slightly, though it's not a wide margin. I do want to see. Um, I don't think Jalen Brown's defense is as bright as this light on me personally. Uh, we've seen over the years, he has great moments, but he's actually played a pretty big role in their inconsistencies because he doesn't communicate. And so I would go with Donovan here. Mm -hmm. Anthony Edwards. Uh, 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 Jalen Brown. All right, so I, I know this is kind of like the, the shade thing that Brandon said. Yeah, that's basically where I'm going to go with the same exact thing. But I think Ant-Man has MVP capabilities, so I, I'll take Anthony Edwards. No arguments there, but it's like you said, it's the Shea thing. I just have to see it more. Ant's going to be a top 15 player next year. Better shot creator, better shooter. I think he is going to be a better defender if he's not already. But mm -hmm. I also think Ant-Man has special playmaking upside because this year without Cat, he was averaging five assists. De'Aaron Fox. Just slightly, I'll take Jalen. But I believe De'Aaron can easily jump him if he has another season like he just did this year, next year. I think this has always been in De'Aaron Fox's bag. This season Not wasn't just a, yeah. Yeah. a coming out party. It's just finally the world got to see it because Sacramento was relevant. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go Fox. I have to. Fox is the best finisher in the NBA at the guard position. Uh, he shot 78% this year at the rim. 
he has become an elite mid-range shooter. We'll see if that sustains. I think he's he's been too undeniable. He is better than Jalen Brown to me. Jalen Brunson. JB every day, and there's two postseason. <laughs> They're both JB. <laughs> Brunson every day, and, and there's two postseasons back-to-back years to prove it to you. I'll take uh, Jalen Brown, but just slightly. It's not uh, – yeah, I'll just take Jalen Brown just slightly, though. For the listeners out there, Brandon has a preference of – Durable and versatile wings. Notice that. That's why you took more. You took more De'Aaron before. Yeah, slightly. I, I like I said, if De'Aaron does exi- what he did this year, next year, then I'll take De'Aaron Fox over Jalen. I just right. have to so one more time. I noticed, and I don't disagree with you. This is more of a wings oriented league, and oftentimes we see those are the best players uh, on contenders, as we're witnessing now with the Heat. Mm-hmm. Pascal Siakam or Jalen Brown? Jalen Brown. JB. I'm going to go with Pascal. Mm. I think. His growth as a playmaker the last couple of years better enables him to be a, a complimentary player. And we've seen Jalen, he, while he played better than Tatum in the finals, Pascal was excellent in the 2019 finals, and he was the second-best player in championship team. And since then, while he's stagnated as a shooter, he's gotten better as a playmaker and ball handler. So I think he deserves more love for what he's been able to do for the Raptors. Uh-huh. Bam Adebayo for Jalen Brown. That's such a hard comparison. You know, if if Bam was more assertive on the offensive end, that's, that's probably that's it. I'd probably lean Bam, but he's not. Yeah, he's inconsistent. If he could, because he he's a better defender, he's a better playmaker, better rebounder. I'm gonna take Bam, but like respect. God, I wish that he was just a more consistent scorer. I really want to take Bam, but. Look at the results. It's okay if he's not. Okay, he's been to the finals twice now. I know, but he's just. Some would argue the reason he's not a he's not an NBA champion is because he's not a great scorer. So scoring, just if the scoring was more, I would I would give it to him. I hate saying it. It's literally like poison, but Jalen Brown. His post game is poison. So, um, I didn't name Anthony Davis. That would be the sixteenth player. Um, did I name AD? You didn't. I'd take AD over Jalen Brown. I'd take AD. And you know what? I know you're not. Are you done with your list? I have a couple more names. All right. Keep, yeah, keep going. Jamar DeRozan or Jalen Brown? Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown. Really? Yeah. What makes you guys lean Jalen? He's younger, too. I feel like there's still more to his game. Yeah, DeMar hasn't been on a winning team. In a... Well, he was a year ago. I think DeMar... Winning it's team. kind of Jimmy okay. Butler, but like a, t- a bad defender. If Jimmy was a bad defender, that would be DeRozan. He's a worse three point shooter in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. And so I'm, I'm like, well, if he is the playmaker and shot creator for mid range, I-, I think you can make a case here for DeRozan. You could. He just has I zero think. playoff resume. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Besides yeah. yeah, that's, that's, so getting axed by LeBron every time. Yes. And I want to make a point. Um, shout out to Kiki in the chat. John, you're out of pocket. LeBron is better than JT and JB. He's better than JB, but I, I'm i in the camp that LeBron's starting to age. And that's, I'm not saying LeBron's, LeBron's better than Jalen Brown to me. Uh, let's, let's be clear. Uh, and I think Shea's better too. It's just, this is a right now, not a historical ranking. Even like a ranking in the last four years, it's merely 2024. I think Shea will be better next season and same with, with Tatum. Okay, so Sorry, my just... last name for you guys is Carl Anthony Towns or Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown. Take Cat. Nice. I'm not take the big. Uh, also, Jamal Murray, Jalen Brown. I take Jamal. I would take Jamal. All right. And last, Jamal. last one, and this is a, an honest one. Julius Randle or Jalen Brown? Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown. You guys say that with no hesitation. No hesitation. Yeah. No hesitation when J- this Jaylen- guy has nothing else to his game. He cannot play make on the level of Julius Randle. And Julius right. Randle has proven to be a one on a Knicks team that has gone to the playoffs now twice. Okay. That was like the 24th ranked offense in the league when he was the one. Let me just say this, Justin. All NBA teams twice. Jalen Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown, for his playoff shortcomings, is still – Ten times the playoff player that Jalen J. Uh, okay. Randall is. That, like, that's fair. You want to talk playoffs? No that's, margin. 
Are the Knicks in the position they are in today if you substituted Julius Randle with JB? 100%. I think they're even better. I think so. They would be better, they're Justin. Better. They're better. So. Why? Dude, they were, Jim, Julius Randle was one of the weakest points of your entire playoff run. If you take Jalen Brown, he was he, he was just as inconsistent as Jalen Brown. No, he was not. They got to the Eastern That's Conference Finals Justin. with him. They would Jalen Brown game seven, which was putrid, would be one of Julius Randle's better playoff games. That's a fact. Dude, Julius eight, Randall, eight assists, eight turnovers, six of 23 from the field. Because when Randle makes more than five field goals in the playoff game, like, hey, that's pretty good. He made some shots today, even if it took him 25 attempts. I, mean, I, I, don't, think, I don't think they're that so different. If Julius, Randall, if Julius Randall was on the Celtics, they would not have beaten the Sixers. Replace those two players, they wouldn't have beat the Sixers. I don't believe that. But that's a fact. I don't believe it. But I, believe anyway, it. I digress. Julius Randle in his playoff career shoots 34% from the field, 28% from three. We're, we're only talking the five and that and half only Julius Randle is not a top 30 player. We're only talking playoffs. I don't think he's top 50, but I'm very, very He's not very even low. top 30. So. He's top not in the discussion. so disrespectful. Josh. I didn't well, say top 50. Guy, he, I think I'd rather like, have my team than Julius I think you can make a case. He's top 50. I, I wouldn't go that far, but he's definitely – I don't know if he's in the 30s. That's going to be – that'll be an interesting discussion. He's not top 30, though. We're at 27 right now virtually. we got the Jamal Murray, which would be 28. Brandon Ingram, 29. Kyrie. Neil. Kyrie, 31. Mikel Bridges, I'm taking seven days a week. I'm taking eight days a week over Julius Randle. Bradley that, Beal. That's a John Wall moment by me. Bradley Beal. I just named Bradley, I think, before. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right. Don't, don't 30, make it no, a, a, not, no, a big Julius Randle. I know you have to head out a couple minutes. I want to finish this off. Jaron Jackson, 32. Domas, 33. Zach Levine, 34. Markman, 35. B.I. Drew Holiday, 36. I think I also named him, but I might have not. No, not, not I'd say I didn't. Markman, I time. would not take over Julius Randle. I would not I think his Randall shooting is that. too complimentary. And even We've if only he seen played in the playoff run, Julius Randle's been so bad in the playoffs, I'd by default take Markman. I love 38 Draymond Green. 39 Porzingis. 40 Andrew two Wiggins. Years in the playoffs. That's 41 it. Not, not the 42. fact that he was an MVP candidate a couple of years ago. Julius Randle? A couple of years ago with the Knicks. His first all-pro season. First, I don't know if he was actually. Yes, he got an MVP vote by like one New York. And, and it's voter. deserving. Of what the hell does MVP mean? That was that what the hell was does MVP what, mean. That, Carmelo Anthony got a NBA MVP vote. I think it was in like 2013, and he was the only one. This was 12 times worse than that. 12 times worse because the Knicks were a terrible offense, and the reason they're in the playoffs was because of their defense that Julius Randle didn't really contribute to. If you just would have, have and by the way, in that 42 person. names, we can continue this next okay. week. But yeah, but I don't agree with those. Names. Justin, that's yeah, what means the Drew Justin, Holiday is the marketing. No, Justin. If oh, you yeah, were to, I'm thinking Drew Holiday, NBA champion. Hold He's on. a two time all star, too. Uh, um, He's a much better two time all star than Drew Holiday. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Much better, Justin. If you would have just brought up Randall's name and then just accepted the defeat after we all took Jalen Brown and didn't. You know, say anything else. I don't think we would have gone on this tangent, but you continue to just poke with you, and you know it's not true. He's, okay, I, we're I, giving I, you Jalen Brown. Saying, we are giving you Jalen Brown. Brunson, I'm sorry. We are giving you Jalen Brunson. Oh, we yeah. all agree Jalen Brunson is a bona fide stud. Okay, Julius Randle is not. You have to let go. You for the betterment of your life and your mind, you have to let go of him and accept Jalen Brunson as your guy now. Let go of Julius. I it's have okay. It's Justin. Justin. Doesn't sound like it. It's not. I'm just fault. saying, but Justin, I still Justin, I, just because Justin. I believe Julius Randle is better than Jalen Brown. Justin, 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 it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Just let go, okay? Like like they said in Frozen, let it go. Let it go. I don't know what you're talking about. 